Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair. Yeah, and you see me on the screen, okay? So, I made this video a couple of days ago. This is the one on site where I was fixing the TV system for one of the bars in the Yumbo Center. And I thought I'd make a quick follow-up on that because it is actually now working and I actually misdiagnosed it. But I diagnosed it correctly without going back, actually. So, what happened is the guy sent me a text the day after I went out and said that the indoor TV wasn't working. So he unplugged the indoor TV on the splitter and then the outdoor TV started working correctly. So surely the communication to the outdoor TV is actually correct, okay? And he's actually right. So I know how this is wired up. I thought it was a bit strange on the day, but there's no reason why it shouldn't work. So I'll show you how this is connected up, what I asked him to change, what he did himself, and it now functions correctly, okay? So what he actually has at the bar is a DVD player. I showed you on the video, this has a HDMI cable going up to the equipment behind the large TV. And on the shelf there, he has a HDMI to Cat5 extender. And then this goes out to the small TV in the bar. And the extender has HDMI in, HDMI pass-through, and Cat5 connector. And then the pass-through on this one is actually wired to a splitter. So he has a passive HDMI splitter, not a powered one. And then that has two outputs, so one in, two out. And this one connects back to another one of these Cat5 adapters. And that goes out to the outdoor TV. Okay, that's his outdoor TV. And then the other output on the splitter goes to the large TV, which we saw on the shelf where the equipment was. And that's how it's actually wired up. And he said that he disconnected this and that one started working, okay? And he also commented when I was out there that sometimes this one wouldn't work, but that wasn't the problem he asked me to look at. So I messaged him back and said, well, actually, the way you've got this wired up is a bit unnecessary. You don't need this splitter. So I told him to connect it like this. So we have the two Cat5 adapters. This is your Cat5 cables, small. outdoor and we know both of these are working because i swapped the cables around it works using the indoor tv on either adapter okay and i told him to connect it so we have the dvd on hdmi that goes into the first adapter then the pass through i told him to connect to the second adapter and then the pass through i told him to connect it to his large tv And doing that, he doesn't need the splitter. And it now works. Yeah, it now works absolutely fine. No problem. Not only does the outdoor TV work absolutely fine, but the indoor one works reliably now. You don't have to restart it a few times. So that's how I fixed it. I really have no idea why it was wired like this. I mean, I didn't install this. I don't know who did install it. But that was the more obvious option to me, and it works. So all of those of you who were commenting about the possible faults, uh, dirty or corroded contacts in the sockets on the TV, etc. Actually, that wasn't the cause of it. It was just, for some reason, this didn't work and that does. Although, to be honest, that should have worked as well. Okay, probably the shortest video I ever made, but I thought it was better to do that than try to explain it in the comments on the original video. Hope you enjoyed that and I look forward to seeing you all soon on Learning Electronics Repair. Ciao for now, guys.